Hey everybody, Shabo here, back from a video and today I will be showing you how to save inventories in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have your items. So here I have a, a pizza and a mm, Chavez. These are the items we're going to be saving. First we're going to go to view at the top. Open up Explore and Properties, and also click this arrow to make sure this stays here. Next, we're going to duplicate all of our items. So you're going to want to go to Explore, open up Workspace if it's not already open, and then select all of your items. You can hold Control and click them like this, or you can just highlight them like this. Now you're going to want to copy them. So we can right-click them and press Copy or press Control c now we can go to server storage, right click it, insert object, and then put in a folder. Now we're going to right click the folder and then put paste into. Now we have duplicated our items and now they're in here. These are the items we're going to be loading for when the player joins back. We can rename the folder to items. Now we're going to make our inventory saving script. So we're going to right click server script service, insert object and then a script. Now we're going to start scripting so we can delete this line of code because we don't need it. Now we're going to set up some variables. So local items folder equals game get service server storage which just gets this and then wait for child items. This will wait for the items to load in and then we'll save the folder as a variable. Next we're going to get the player service. So local players equals game get service players and we're also going to set up a function for when the player leaves. So local function player left, player object, just like that. Then we can hook it up to an event. So players.player added, connect player added, players.player removing, connect player left. Now that we have our function set up, we're going to put another variable, so local data store service equals game get service data store service. And then we're going to get the main data store that we're using, so Local main store equals data store service get data store and then I'm just going to put main you can also put inventory I'm just going to put main for this we're going to save their inventory whenever they leave so local backpack equals player dot backpack and then local character equals player dot character so now we're going to get every item that they left with so local items tab which is just an items table and then this and now we're going to loop through everything in their inventory. So if character, sometimes sometimes the character just isn't there. For i object in pairs character get children. So this is getting everything inside of the character. We're going to want to check if it's a tool. So if object and object is a tool, then we'll know that they had a tool on them. We're going to want to save it inside the table here. So table dot insert items tab and then object dot name. We can't save the object itself in a data store, but we can save the name and then that's what we'll use to load it in. Now we can just copy this, go here, paste this, and then do the same for the backpack. And now all the items should be saving inside of this table. Next we're going to want to just save it inside of the data store. So local success error equals p call function like this, and then return you know, main store set async player.user ID. We'll use their user ID to identify them in the data store. And then items tab. So what this will do, it'll save the data we saved in this inside of the data store. We can get it again when they rejoin. If not success, then print error. So if it for some reason fails, we'll know what the error is. Next, we're going to need to load it in whenever they rejoin. So repeat tasks.wait until player.character. So we're waiting for the character to load in and then you can wait like three seconds and then now we're going to get their data. So local success and inventory equals p call function. Basically the same thing we're doing down here. So return main store get async player dot user ID. So this will get the data that we saved. Then if success, then we will load the inventory. So for I name in pairs inventory do so this will loop through everything that we saved which should be the object names 
Now we're going to search for it inside of here. It's so local item equals items folder, find first child name. Then if item, then we're going to clone it. So local clone equals item clone. And then clone.parent equals player.backpack. So this will do. It'll wait until the character loads in, wait three seconds just to be safe, get the data that they have. And then if it got the data, it will load it in here. And then that should give them their items. So now if we press play, we have no items yet. I'm just going to pick up the pizza and the cheeseburger. Now I'm going to leave the game. Now I'm going to join back. And as you can see, our items load back in. I can pick them up again, and it's going to save again. So I leave the game. I join back. And then after a couple seconds, our items load in. And that's how you make an inventory saving system in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace. Also make sure to check out my game in the description below.